Hi guys, a very warm welcome to all of you to the Kirtley and Karishma show. Thank you so much for all your love and support. We say this every week, but that's because we are in immense gratitude. And Sir Kirtley was in the US of A and now he's in St. Lucia. Some of us are still at home, but at least one of us is traveling, which is great for both of us. How are you? Hello, Karishma. I am very well, thank you. And let me say... You know, welcome to our many fans. And we continued for your continued support. We really appreciate everything that is going on. And yes, I'm now in St. Lucia. I've left the old US of A, but um, we got the South Africa West Indies series coming up starting tomorrow, the 10th. So that's why I'm in St. Lucia, getting ready to do some work. Absolutely. It's a good feeling to be working and I'm, I'm sure it's, you know, it's great. So today, guys, we, Sir Curtly and I have decided to do a roundup of the current affairs when it comes to cricket. I'm sure all of you know what's going on, but let's start off with the PSL, which starts off tomorrow. So that's finally resuming, right? In Abu Dhabi. Yeah, it's such a nice feeling when cricket you know, is being played. This pandemic has really turned the world in general you know, upside down. So whenever we as cricket-loving people get a chance to see cricket, we're always very appreciative of it. Mm-hmm. And the, PS- the PSL resuming in Abu Dhabi, unfortunately, it won't be in Pakistan. But yeah. nevertheless, it's cricket, and we're looking forward to it. Absolutely. And I think it just gives us hope because at least now that that's happening, we know that other things are happening, which also brings me to our next question. England versus New Zealand test and Denver Conway 200 on debut at Lords. Let's talk about that. Well, I can tell you this, Karishma, and to our many viewers. When you're making your test match debut, for most players, it's a little bit nerve wracking because you're not so sure how you're going to do. You have no experience in test match cricket, so it's always a bit of a but- butterflies in a stomach situation. And if you are fortunate enough as a batsman to score 100 on your test match debut, it is a special moment. But to have scored a double 100 like Conway did, it is super special. That will be something he will never, ever forget. Absolutely, absolutely. Okay, something that you and I were discussing before we started the show was Ollie Robinson. He obviously had a great performance recently and has now been banned because of a couple of things that he said on Twitter many years ago. What are your views on this? I mean, I know we can't get too political, but let's just be honest. It's it's a little bit unfortunate because he himself made his debut as well for England and did very well both with bat and ball. So he himself would have finished that game on a high, looking forward to the second test match. Unfortunately, because of some tweets that he tweeted, what, eight, nine, ten years ago when he was a teenager, suddenly surfaced and hence his ban from the next game pending investigation. I don't know what the tweet was all about, but it's very unfortunate for him. And we can only wish him well and hope that they can solve this situation rather quickly, you know, for his benefit. So he can resume yeah. his international career. But it's very unfortunate. Absolutely, absolutely. I think people just have to be a little bit careful and mindful now with social media. I mean, things do get picked up on and you know, can be, you know, and accountably so held against you, to be honest. Of course. I mean, this is not like 30 or 40 years ago, you know, where social media wasn't that prevalent. You know, a lot of things you do and say, you can kind of get away with it. But in today's world, before you even finish your sentence, it's all over the globe. So guys have to be very careful with what they do and what they say. You know, but... um. I don't know exactly what was said, you yeah. know, but um, for what I've been hearing is something racial, mm. but I haven't seen it myself. So it wouldn't be fair to divulge yeah. into it, not knowing the full content. But like yeah. I said, it's unfortunate for him and hope that this can be resolved quickly and he gets on with his career. 
Yeah, absolutely. And let's just all be kind to each other, you know, so that even if things are dug up from the past, you know, there's there's nothing like this. But let's let's move on to the next subject. Team India has reached England a couple of days ago. I know that the team is in quarantine. Uh, what are the chances in the WTC final, especially after watching New Zealand's performance in tests against England? Well, I can tell you this. Like I've said before in previous shows, that New Zealand won't be an easy pushover for India. Yeah. Uh, India has got a fantastic team, of course. We all know that. But New Zealand, they don't have too many big stars in their lineup. Mm. But always find a way to win. Why? Because they play together for so long and believe in their ability. And that is the difference. And that first test match against England that was drawn, you could see that they really play well together as a team. So it's not going to be an easy test match, this World Test Championship. And I am looking forward to it with bated breath because I, I anticipate an exciting game between two very good teams. So yeah. India, I believe, may start at favourites, but you can never discard New Zealand. They have a knack of upsetting the big teams. Yeah, they do. They just magically, they, it's, it, it just like you said, you know, you 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 might be voting and rooting for India, but then they are just, just I think New Zealand are definitely a tough opposition. You might yes, not see it on paper, but they're definitely something else. Exactly. And that's where the cricket is played on the field of play, not on paper. It doesn't matter how strong your team is on paper. If you don't go in the middle and get the job done, then it won't work. And New Zealand has got a knack of turning up and showing up and causing some headaches for teams all over the world. Well, that's what makes cricket exciting, isn't it? I mean, if it was oh. predictable, we wouldn't like it. So at least it's, it's a challenge is always a good thing. Of course. And that can only bring the best out of all the players when you know you have a, a serious challenge on your hand. And I'm looking forward to it, to be quite honest. Looking forward to that clash. Yes, me too. So recently, Sanjay Mandraka made a statement that Ashwin is not a great bowler. He is an OK bowler who performs only in Indian cond conditions. He's not got SENA countries, SENA countries. What do you think about that? Well, we all have our different, uh, you know, we all look at greatness in a different way. Sanjay Manjeka, wonderful cricketer in his time. He has, a, he has his opinion on that. We all do. But how do you really define greatness? You know, that's a good question because sometimes, to be quite fair, Karishma, we use the word great kind of loosely. Yeah. So we have to be careful in how we define greatness. For me, greatness is when a player can be very consistent over a period of time, over years, mm -hmm. not one or two years. Because some guys can come into international cricket and for one, two, or maybe three years, they set the world on fire. And then for the next five, six, seven years, they've done nothing. And you, would, you can't really judge them on the first two or three years. It's over a period of time throughout the whole career, even. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the career, that is when you'll be judged if you were great, or you were good, or just average, right? So it's over an entire career for me to judge greatness, not a couple of years. So everyone look at it differently, but that's how I look at it. Over an entire career, and then you can say, yes, this particular player has been consistent throughout his career, won many games for his team, yeah. and that kind of stuff. And then the figures you know, will speak for itself at the end of a career. So greatness comes from a career and not after a couple of years. I 100% agree with you. I think even with um, with celebrities and, you know, Insta Instagram famous people, and I think it's very easy to get famous, but to have a longevity consistently yes. for 20, 30 years, that, for me, I agree with you. Because I think, it, you, you know, some people are one-hit wonders and there's nothing wrong with that but does that make you great? Of course not. Of course not. You know, yeah. just like everything else in life, 
you know, you got maybe musicians or a singer or a group come on yeah. the scene, have a hit song. Yeah. Everybody said, oh man, this, this group is a great group or this is a great artist. And if in the next five years, they can't put you in a hit song. And there's yeah. no way you can call them great because of one hit song yeah. to match them up with guys who have been who have created his songs year in year out you know yeah. so we gotta be very careful like i said it's over a whole career yeah so we'll we'll go back to this we'll answer this in a couple of years then basically yes yes definitely <laughs> talking about great people and great players bcci finally announced ipl in the uae this year which is meant to be taking place from september to october right before uh, the T20, but decision on the World T20 is yet to be made, but at least we have an IPL confirmation that it's going to take place again in Sharjah, Dubai, and Abu Dhabi. Yes, um, I'm sure the Indian supporters may be disappointed that is has gone back mm-hmm. to UAE and not in India, but of course they understand the situation and why that has been done. You know, but um, they haven't announced but haven't made a decision about the, T, the world T20, yeah. which, you know, they're probably waiting a little bit to see how things pan out in the UAE before they make a decision, you know, but at the same time, we don't have too much time left. Mm. So a decision has to be made very soon. Yeah. So I'm quite sure that we'll hear a decision about the world T20 in the very near future. Yeah, at least it's taking place. I think right now, Anything that's taking place, we're just excited about it because things have been so unpredictable. Whether it happens in India, whether it happens in Abu Dhabi, at least it's happening. And people are safe and they can watch it. Yeah, that is the key thing, you know. We have to keep everyone safe. We can't just decide to go and play cricket willy-nilly and then cause another spike in the COVID. Everything, protocols must be in place for every single one involved. Absolutely. It, it, it takes a lot. It's not easy. Just, no. just for me to get to St. Lucia, you know, I came from the States. Yeah. I had to quarantine, you know. They had to go and do, even though I'm fully vaccinated, I still had to do COVID test again before departure. Have to fill out forms online to get the OK from the St. Lucia government for me to come to St. Lucia. So it's a lot of things. And that was only me. So can you yeah. imagine a whole team and staff and everything else? It takes a lot, yeah. but it has to be done. So we just we have to be patient and just go along, you know, with what's happening. Absolutely, I believe before I go, before I let you go, there was an announcement today from Kane Williamson. There was something that was that came up in our news today that we wanted to discuss, and uh, that was and let me get it down. Kane Williamson, the New Zealand captain, has been ruled out of the second test against England at Edgbaston because of a persistent elbow injury. So he has to miss the ODI series against Bangladesh. Well, he he had to miss the ODI series earlier this year, and now this has happened. So that's a bit of a bummer, I guess. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, a, it's a big blow. Karishma, Karishma, just repeat that question, because while you were looking for it, your camera was off. So repeat that question. I don't have the question, because I have to read the question. Uh, I didn't turn just, it out. It is just simple. Kate Williamson has been ruled out for a second test against England because of elbow injury. Tom Latham will lead. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. So our next announcement is, uh, sadly, Kane Williamson will be out again because of an elbow injury, which the announcement literally just came on before we started our show. Yes, that is a huge blow for New Zealand. He's not only the captain, but the, probably the best player. You know, and to lose someone of his quality is always a huge blow for, him, for, for New Zealand. However, you know, it leaves an opportunity for someone else to step up and, and show their worth. Um, it is very sad for Ken Williamson because this is the last test match before that World, T, World Test Championship against India yeah. Yeah. coming up shortly. So he probably would have loved to play to get some needed practice. Unfortunately, can't, but he's a quality player. So I'm sure that once his elbow is much better, he'll go to the nets, probably do extra work yeah. and prepare himself for that World Test Championship. But it certainly is a big blow for New Zealand. It must be so 
hard, right? Because you train and train and train as an athlete, right? You eat, you train, you sleep, you eat, you train, you sleep just for these specific games. And then to get injured and then after all that to to not be able to perform is, you know, we're all humans and I understand we get injured, but it, it's just frustrating, I'm sure, even for you in, in the past. Of course, it's frustrating because you want to represent your country yeah. at every opportunity. And I've always believed that to play for your country, you know, was a privilege and you should be very proud to do so. And no one wants to miss any game anyway. But, mm. you know, as an athlete, training every day, playing a lot, you're always open for injuries. Some of us were very fortunate to have not really sustained anything too serious yeah. in terms of injuries, but it's always likely to happen. And that elbow injury for Kenny Wills isn't something new. He's had it before. You know, he missed a couple of games before or whatever. You know, so he's just probably aggravated it somewhere. And for precautionary measure, I believe he probably could have played, but you're talking about the World Test Championship coming up soon, which is so yeah. important. So yeah. the added rest with treatment and try to get him ready for the test match. Well, let's just hope that he gets a speedy recovery. And I think that's about it today, isn't it, Sir Kirtley? This was a little roundup from Sir Kirtley and I for you guys to know what's happening currently in the world of cricket. And we're going to be back next week with another guest for you guys. But uh, yeah, this was fun to do because we haven't spoken to each other one-on-one -on -one for a while. So I think we needed this. You know, I thought about that. And if my memory serves me correctly, apart from maybe the first episode when we were getting acquainted, I can't yeah. remember if we'd done a one-on-one -on -one like this before. After that, we it's always guests. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's so refreshing. It's so nice to, for us to be talking without anyone else. You know, and you're yeah. quite right. We should do it from time to time. We should. Know? We should do like a roundup yeah. show more often because there's so much happening and so many changes. And I'm sure our that subscribers is, is so want to know. That is so true. But, you, you know, for many fans, thanks again for your continued support. We really appreciate it. Our numbers are rising. Simple means yes. that you're enjoying our shows and we really yeah. appreciate it. And of course, next week we'll have a, an, another guest. We won't tell you who. You'll have to wait and see who that guest is. But next week again, there'll be, there'll be another show. Thank you, guys. Take care and be safe. Thank you, everyone. Be safe and do what you got to do to protect yourself, your family and your friends and the rest of the world. Take care, all. Bye-bye.